episodes and stuff here on YouTube as well as on Instagram. Welcome to the channel today. So today I wanted to share with you my April sewing plans. I hope you guys are all doing well and hanging in there. Um, so I just wanted to share my plans. Um, hopefully I'll get through everything. I've been sewing a lot of masks for people and so um, hopefully I'll be able to get through everything. But anyway, let me show you what I plan to make. So the first thing I'm planning to make is McCall's 8035. And I'm planning, and this is one of the newer patterns called Bryn McCall's. Um, so I'm going to be doing the, the pattern on the cover, View C. And I'm doing that for the So Maxi for Mother's Day challenge that I'm hosting with T of Crumpets Tea and Sewing here on YouTube as well as on Instagram. And I'll leave a link to the challenge. Um, guidelines below to my video where I discuss the guidelines for the uh, Sew Maxi for Mother's Day, but that goes until U.S. Mother's Day, um, which is Sunday the 10th, um, and we're going to, I think we're going to keep it, we, get, we gave it an extra day till 11. Um, anyway, I'm going to be doing View C, and the fabric that I'll be using is this beautiful uh, John Caldor peach skin. It's a polyester peach skin and I love the the big floral print on it. And I've already cut out the pattern pieces for that pattern. I've done a muslin. I tissue fitted. I did a muslin. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen my uh, my little process of, of that. So what I did was tissue fitted and then I did um, a, a muslin of the bodice to get everything the way I want it for um, for this top part right here. So I'm sewing a size small for the top and then a medium with an extra half inch on the hips for the bottom. So that's what I'm doing with that fabric. And I'm also gonna, I have a little bit left over, like a yard and a quarter or so left over. And I'm gonna sew uh, this McCall 7589 for my daughter Carmen. She's 10, almost 11 now, <laughs> you know. Anyway, she likes view B right here, so it's not quite full on maxi, but um, it has like the 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 the, um, the rounded hem. So she likes view. Uh, actually, she says she likes view C, which is basically view B. She likes view C right here, which is basically the same as view C except for it has the elastic. At the waistline so this is the version that she likes so i'm going to be making her that with what i have left over um from making the mccall's dress so that's the first those are the first two things that i plan to make and the next thing that i plan to make is the porsche party dress by rebecca page patterns and this is a free pattern and i'll leave a picture right here because i couldn't get my printer <laughs> to print out the picture um so i'll leave a picture right here and so anyway, I'm going to be doing the Porsche party dress, and that is a free knit pattern from Rebecca Page Patterns. Um, she also has a paid version, which includes um, the woven, a woven version and different length, lengths, um, length guidelines. So, but I'm doing the free version. I just had that sent off to um, PDF Plotting. It just came back. Um, so if you are using PDF patterns and use use PDF plotting, they're still shipping. They did they did say that they usually ship out the same day if you get it in by like one or two, they'll ship it the same day. Um, but now there is gonna be either the same day or the next day because they're working with limited staff, but they are still shipping. So um I'll leave a link to PDF plotting and that's for printing your large scale PDF and AO size here in the US. So um, anyway, I just had that printed off. So I'm going to be making that dress. And it's very similar to the McCall's one, but um, it has the um, open, the, the big dramatic sleeves. And so I'm going to be making that using, I'm going to make the top in a plain green. And this is a green uh, knit. I think it's a rayon. It's a rayon cotton blend knit or something like that. So, and it's pretty, it's a pretty, pretty emerald green. So, I'm going to do that for um, the top bust portion and the sleeves. And then I'm going for the bottom, I'm going to use this beautiful orange and green knit from uh, 
mood fabrics. So I picked this up last, I think last fall when I went on the bus trip. So I'm going to be using this. And so it's, it's pretty much a border print because you have all of this orange. Let me show you. You have all of this orange at the top. And then when you pull it up, you have a big like border. It's not a centered border, but um, so I want that on the bottom or I might switch it around. I don't know. I might have this part at the top and then the green on the bottom. I haven't decided, but that's what I'm going to do um, for the Rebecca Page Porsche party dress. And so the next thing that I plan to make, and I've told you guys about this, this fabric. I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna be making uh, Berta 6579. I'm gonna do view A, the short sleeve version, because it has all of the different um, sections um, on it for uh, color, color contrast. But I'm gonna be using this fabric again. It's the Japanese cotton that I got at a fabric swap. And so I am going to go ahead and try to get this done. <laughs> I've been wanting to use this fabric forever, but it has the dragonflies and the beautiful flowers and then these stars. So I'm going to break it up. I haven't decided how I'm going to break it up, but I'm going to have different prints, different sections of the print for this section. And then on the back of it, I decided probably won't have enough fabric to do the whole thing because I only have a little over a yard and it's about 40 inches wide, not that wide fabric. So I'm going to be using this embroidered cotton for the back. So that's what I'm going to do. So that'll be a nice little, nice and airy little top to, um, to wear over the summer. And so the next thing I want to do is fix my, it's called the Eleanor jeans or pants by Jolly Patterns. So it's basically a jean, a pull-on jean pattern. And so I made these maybe two years ago, but um, the top stitching was coming to loose because I, I used embroidery thread and it started coming out. So I did unpick all of the top stitching off the, sides and then the faux fly right here so I did that so I just need to um, take them in a little bit and add the pockets back on um, and so I think I'll be done with that pattern um, I don't know if I'm gonna keep the, if I do top stitching redo the top stitching I'm just gonna make it in blue um, but I tried them on and they still pretty much fit I think I might have to take it in just a little bit so that's my plan is to go ahead and fix those jolly pat these jolly jeans to go with the Eleanor um I'm excuse me with this bird of top. I think the these two fabrics will go well together. So I just need to fix these. So the next thing I'm planning to sew is um a muslin for the ginger jeans. So I've had this pattern for a couple years now. It's been too um scary to make it. Um, I started off with the jelly jeans and those went pretty well, um, but they're not true jeans. They don't have a fly front um, or real pockets or anything like that. I know they have um, some hacks online where you can make a um, real fly front as well as add real pockets, but I decided I'm just going to go ahead and go for it and make real jeans. And so I'm going to be selling the ginger jeans again um so this is the paper version that i have i picked it up picked this up at fabric mart when i went to the actual store in pennsylvania and um so i picked up the paper pattern but then later on i said well let me get the class when they were having closet case patterns was having a sale on um their classes so i picked up the uh, the, the ginger jeans class to go with the pattern but the class pattern has the mid-rise uh, jeans that comes with the class and not the lower, the, the low, this one comes with the low rise and then the high rise jeans. And I think I need mid-rise. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try out the mid-rise and, um, and try that first. So I did have those printed out. And then um, and I'm just gonna cut it out. I'm not tracing it. <laughs> 
because it's too many pieces with jeans. So I'm just gonna cut that out, make all my pattern adjustments. I might retrace what I make after I make the adjustments, retrace all adjustments, but um, I'm gonna be making the mid-rise version. So this month I'm just trying to do a muslin for it. And the pattern, the fabric that I'm gonna use, I haven't decided. I just ordered some fabric from LA Finch Fabrics. I ordered some Cone Mills Blue Denim nine and a half ounce with um i think two percent stretch so i might use that blue uh denim and i'll show that to you when it comes in um i think it's, i think they just sent it off but i might also use i'm really leaning i'm starting to lean towards this white denim that i picked up from heart i got from hearts fabric a couple years ago so i haven't decided which if i want to go with the blue jeans or if i want to do white jeans um instead but i do want to at least get the through the muslin in april so that is so those are all of my plans for april 2020 i hope you guys are doing well and staying safe um i've been hanging in there you know doing different things sewing masks i had to dye my own hair <laughs> um, and do my own twists and the kids are all home <laughs> and i've been helping them with their homeschool stuff because it officially started this week um, with the homeschool, even Christopher has um, his online occupational and speech therapy classes, which is yeah. very interesting. <laughs> he, he doesn't want to like sit in front of the computer to do the stuff on his device for speech or um, do the little exercises for um, occupational therapy. So it's a learning curve to get him to um, to get the um, to get the online Zoom stuff. Anyway, um, I'm hanging in there and I'm, we even have like our piano classes are all on Zoom now. Um, the kids have trumpet, so everything is on Zoom. So we're, we're keeping some of the things the same through Zoom. And um, so I'm glad to get a little break and get, get a little bit of normalcy of our daily life back in there. But I'm also appreciating the slowness as well so anyway i hope you guys are doing well i hope you guys have a great weekend and enjoy your holiday if you celebrate um anyway i hope you all take care of yourselves happy sewing bye